Hi, Angie Taylor here from angietaylor.co.uk. Here I have a really good Pro Essentials tip for you, recorded in association with motionworks.com.au. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can remove lens dust from a frame of video. We're going to start in Premiere Pro here, where you can see this lens dust on this piece of video. And if I just scrub through, you'll see the problem is the lens dust remains on the screen in the same place in every frame, but because the camera's moving, you'll notice it's quite difficult to remove because the background colour changes as we scrub through the clip. So I figured out a really good way of removing this using Photoshop. Now you could use After Effects with the Clone tool, but it's quite complicated because the background changes. And this tip is a real no-brainer. So what I've done is I've converted that to an image sequence and I've converted it to a TIFF sequence and you can use Adobe Media Encoder to do that. I'm then going to go to Edit, Edit Original, which will open that up in Photoshop. So here I have one of the files in Photoshop. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see that a little bit more clearly. And there's my lens dust. And I'm going to use one of the lesser known features of CS6, and that's in the Actions panel. Now, if we go into the Actions panel, in the Wing menu, you'll see there's an option for Allow Tool Recording. You need to make sure that's switched on. And what that will do is actually record the actions that you take with your tools in Photoshop. So with that switched on, I'm going to create a new action in my Image Cleanup folder, and I'm going to call it Heal Dust Brush. OK, and I'm going to put it into my Image Cleanup folder and click on Record. And while the record button's on, it will record anything that I do in Photoshop. So I'm going to choose the healing brush tool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and just move this down. And we'll move over the first bit of lens dust and just click once. Now I've got my Wacom pen selected. Just be sure that you have it on mouse mode when you click because you want a nice big patch like this. And when you release, it will heal the area underneath. If you have pressure sensitivity switched on, that's not going to work quite as well. So I'll do it with this one as well. So I've basically recorded the position and the strokes that I've taken with that brush. I'm then going to stop recording. So if we have a look in Mini Bridge, you'll see there are lots of other frames from the video down here. We have all the frames of the video. So how do I use this action on all the frames of the video? Well, I can right click and say Reveal in Bridge just to open it up in Bridge so you can see the images. And what we'll do is we'll just select the first nine. There's a whole image sequence there, but I'm just going to select nine images. And this is how we process them. If Obviously, if you wanted to do the whole lot, you can do the whole lot, but it just takes a little bit of time to process. So we'll just do nine for the demo. So I go into Tools and I go Photoshop Batch, and that opens up my batch processing dialog where I can choose my image cleanup set, my heal dust brush. It's going to take the files from Bridge, and I've already created a folder that I want to save it in. OK, so it's called Motionworks Clean Frames. And then I'm going to click OK. And as if by magic, it's just going to open up all of those frames and process them for me. Really, really easy just to process those nine frames. And if we jump back to Bridge in a second, you'll see how it's cleaned those frames. Now, you can also use other actions as well. Let's just right click and go to Bridge and have a look at the clean frames. So we go into clean frames and now you can see all of those clean frames. If I just make this preview a little bit bigger um, so that we can just move through them one at a time, you can see there uh, the dust removed from the frames really nicely. So that's how you can use tool recording options in Photoshop CS6 to repair dust from lenses in Photoshop. So there we have it, another Pro Essentials tip recorded by Angie Taylor from angietaylor.co.uk in association with motionworks.com.au.